AccuSnap is a drawing aid used to select precise locations on elements within a design. It is used to identify locations at the end point or midpoint of a line, as well as the center of a circle. This operation is often referred to as snapping. In this lesson, you will learn snapping modes and snapping to various elements. Start MicroStation Connect Edition and on the work page set the following Workspace, Bentley Connect Training. Work Set, MS Basics. Click Browse and open AccuSnap from the backslash MS Basics backslash DGN backslash 04 using AccuDraw and AccuSnap backslash DGN folder. By default, the dataset is installed at C colon backslash Bentley Connect Training Worksets. If the Snap Mode toolbox is not yet displayed on the screen, open it by selecting the Snap Mode icon in the Drawing Aids ribbon tab located in the Snaps ribbon group. Ensure that AccuSnap is enabled by confirming the first icon, Toggle AccuSnap, is highlighted. Use a zoom in or window area to center on the upper four figures. We will be adding the red lines to the figures on the right side of this view to closely match the ones on the left side using a variety of snapping techniques. Let's start with the top example. We'll use two different snaps to create the final results. Select Smart Line in the Home Ribbon tab in the Placement Ribbon group. To set a snap mode as the default snap, double click on the Key Point Snap icon. This way, every time we use a different snap mode, AccuSnap will always return to the key point snap. A single mouse click is all we'll need to invoke other snap modes. Our first objective is to create the diamond shape in the empty block. Move the pointer close to the midpoint of the side of the block. A bold yellow X appears. Accept the snap point with the data point to begin drawing the first line segment. We complete the geometry by snapping in sequence to the remaining three sides of the block and returning to the first line segment where we started. The diamond geometry is complete. Next we'll create the V-line at the top of the block. Start at the upper left or right corner of the block when the bold yellow X appears. Click data point to start the line. The bottom of the V-shaped line is located at the center of the block, so we'll temporarily select a different snap mode to locate this. Click the center snap icon. Move the cursor over the block itself. A bold yellow X appears at the center of the block. Data point to accept the center point snap. Note how the snap mode returns to key point. Snap to the other corner point of the block and data point. Reset to complete the V-line. In the second figure, we create the three lines labeled A, B, and C. Line A is perpendicular to the oblique line with an endpoint at the tip of the lower horizontal line. With Place Smart Line still active, select the perpendicular snap mode. To create line A, snap to any arbitrary point on the oblique line. Note that the dynamic line that appears is now perpendicular to the oblique line. The next step is to complete the line at the end of the lower horizontal line. With MicroStation already set to the key point snap, move the cursor over the left end of the horizontal line. Snap to the end of the line and data point. Reset to complete. Line B needs to be placed perpendicular to both horizontal lines at some arbitrary point along the lines. Click once on the perpendicular snap icon. Highlight the upper line and data point. A perpendicular line appears as before. 
select the Near Snap Point icon. Move the cursor over the lower line until it highlights. Pick a spot on the line and data point. Reset to complete. MicroStation returns once again to the key point default snap mode. Line C starts at the end point of the upper horizontal line and continues down to the intersection of line B and the oblique line. First, snap to the right end point of the upper horizontal line and data point. Select the intersect snap icon. Snap to the intersection of the two lines and data point. Reset to complete. There are additional snap modes available to us, but are not displayed by default. To see all of the snaps available, right-click and hold over any snap icon. A list of all snaps appear. You can turn on more snaps from this list. As you can see, AccuSnap is on by default. However, you can momentarily disable AccuSnap by pressing the Control and Shift key. In this lesson you learned snap modes and snapping to various elements. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.